Coming up on today's podcast, we find out which Aussie musician Suze has beef with. She denies it, but we know it's real. Plus, I've had a super large weekend hanging with some great people, massive events. I'll tell you all about it. Including your Artie Marge's 90th. i oh, way to spoil the surprise, mate. Anyway, enjoy the podcast, guys. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Burr. It's cold in here. I said there must be some content in the atmosphere. Here we go. It is cold in here, 11 degrees right now if you're just waking up. Is it really? It's freezing. Mm. I mean, you wouldn't know looking at Lutz. He's wearing shorts, a T-shirt and thongs. <laughs> and a thong. And a thong. <laughs> yeah. Double yeah. thong. Really? Yeah. <laughs> to make it weird. <laughs> Uh, anyway, mm. our producers are in here. Yes, hello, me and Nick today. Oh, brouhaha. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling us stories that we should have done on the show. <laughs> Is that it? Well, <laughs> it's just ex- some extra content for you, Suze. Yeah. Okay. Nothing that you should have done, would have done. Anyway. The, or- the origins of this was there was a producer that was like bitching behind our backs. But I, I was in here. And she didn't know mm, that I was not. in here. That's how this started. And she yeah. was writing on the board things for tomorrow, I think. Oh, what was she doing? Should we, really. should we like, name it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Br- Bronte Langbrook. Yeah. yeah. Who's now doing a show on the uh, GC? Yeah. What did you say? They should have done this story or blah, blah. And I, was like, I think oh, you said, I remember that it. silly bitch won't do my gear, <laughs> is, what, is what she said. And you were you behind You are right. Her. You are right. She yeah. did say that. Yeah. And that's why she no longer works here. <laughs> yeah, she's doing... She's on air. She moved on to bigger and better <laughs> <Yeah>. things. <laughs> she actually is doing her stuff. No, she's, yeah. she's doing good. Uh, all right, so five seconds <sighs> to pitch with some gear. Yes. Well, where you go. Benny Blanco is under fire online after revealing his future plans with Serena, Selena Gomez. I don't know who Fenny Blanco is, but... Fenny Blanco? Fenny Blanco. Oh. Who the hell's Fenny Blanco? But I like it. Mm. I saw a bit of that interview, actually. Who's Fenny Blanco? Stern. I don't know. I don't know who it is either. Benny Blanco. Oh, f- Benny. Fenny Blanco. I said Fenny Blanco. Oh. So I just said Benny. Yeah. Mm. I don't know who that is either. <laughs> Nick, fresh he's, from England. Now, he's, he's, he's wearing he's skins. You'd What's imagine, going on? You imagine this will be good. He's, you know, he's been saving up. He's had three weeks to prepare for this. He's come from England. He's wearing England. new Essex. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Move over, male privilege. There's a new thing you want to be in society. I was confused because was your microphone on? Yeah. 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 Were yeah. you thrown by the smug look on his face? Because I certainly was. <laughs> what I'm thrown by, it, he was not reading off a script then. He actually memorised that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Come back fresh. You're I coming, told you. You've come in hot from yeah. London and Ireland. That's a nice little reset, I told you. Feel good. Yeah. Oh, who are we, who are we you. voting for? Uh, I'm voting for Alicia because I didn't hear or wasn't listening t- <laughs> to Nick's. You were too busy looking at his lycra. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it is off-putting what you're wearing, but in a nice way. Mm. Uh, maybe, gonna, it, maybe it lends into my story. I'll take Nick's one. Hmm. I'll go the other way. Alicia. Oh, I'd reset Alicia. Well, Alicia's Alicia it. wins. Oh. Nick in the podcast. Oh, no. I'm chatting in the pod, Nick. <laughs> Back to Queensland Cup for you. All right. Benny Blanco. Okay, so Benny Blanco, not yeah. Benny God, Blanco. Don't yell. The DJ. He, he's a music producer. So he's he's currently dating Selena Gomez. They, they made the relationship public in December. Which one's she again? Does she used to date... Harry, someone? Justin Bieber? Bieber. Okay, Bieber, right, right, right. Selena right. Gomez. What was Blanco's big work back in the day? He, he's, had, he's, he, had a, he had a banger. He's not that old, is he? No, nah, he's, he's, he's produced young. for everybody. He's produced for, like, Bieber and... Um, was he, like, beautiful people? Was it Benny Blanco? He did something big back in the day. That was Benny Benassi. Different guy. Yeah, different Benny. <laughs> different Benny. <laughs> Close. Uh, yeah. He's on this track with um, Halsey. Or this one with Bieber. What if you had it all, but a producer. If you've seen Ed Sheeran's, Ed Sheeran has a doc. Sorry to take over your segment here, Alicia. Right. Um, Ed Sheeran has a, a documentary, I think, on Apple. And Benny Blanco famously hates flying. He doesn't fly. So Ed Sheeran caught a boat to America and picked him up. And they caught a boat back to the UK so they could help write Ed Sheeran's album. Swear what? to God. Yep. What? Yep. Ed Sheeran got on a boat. Sorry. No, no, no. You got- Ed Sheeran, yeah. Ed Sheeran got on a boat and went to America to pick up Benny Basically, Ed Benny Sheeran Benassi. went to America, picked from up where? Benny Blanco <laughs> from the UK, and then they caught a boat back together um, because Benny Blanco doesn't fly. It's like Rab's Warner. Huh? Rab's doesn't mm. fly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's the American Rab's. Yeah, no, American Rab's, Rab's does fly. He just hates it, though. Does he still fly? 
But I don't know what he does he now. He famously missed his first Olympic Games because yeah. he wouldn't hop on an aeroplane. Isn't that right? The one to LA? Bray Warren. You, that's yeah. what you told me that story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's in his book. Yeah, wow. Well. All right, so who, who we, so anyway, Blanco. so Benny Blanco is dating <laughs> Selena Gomez. Yes. Uh, so they came out in, in a relationship in December. Um, and yes, uh, Ash was right. He was on the Howard Stern show last week and he said that his next goal was having kids with Selena Gomez. Um, but he has come under fire online because he uh, he revealed that he didn't have any plans for marriage, though, even though he wanted to have kids with her. Oh, so people were a bit like, oh, you, you, you seeing happen. kids is less of a commitment than marriage. And, oh. you know, people are kind of going after him for that. But I think life's changed a bit in that yeah. Yeah. regard, don't you? Come on. I think so. I believe so. Yeah. But, yeah. Like you, can, you can have children without getting married. Which I would have thought in the past that, that was Im- that was impossible. I just love talking about Benny Blanco. <laughs> yeah. like, I still don't know who he is. This is the most airtime he's had. Oh yeah, <laughs> ever. <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Less than a week away until uh, DJ Lazy Susan's uh, debut Ooh. performance at the Met. You know who I'm competing with that same night? Oh, who? Missy Higgins. Oh, you, Missy it's Higgins. A different genre. You'll smoke. Is it? Yeah. I, I know. There's a lot of people that. Uh, I would like to come to mine who can't because they're going to Missy Higgins at the convention centre and she's on stage exactly the same time. Well, I'm, I'm saying if there's Boiler Room and Missy Higgins, yeah, there's, like, there's, how many people are... Who are you talking about? Like, who's like... People my age. Mm. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm hearing you. Like, so yeah, it's different, you're right. Yeah. Seriously. You're right, seriously. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, good. Like, and love to Missy Higgins... Yeah. Except for that small problem you've got with it. But um, other than what that... What problem? Oh, you like her again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, I, didn't, I did not like her. I, just, I think it went off her. A little bit. <laughs> no. What did she do? Yeah. Well, no. What have you started? Mm-hmm. Nothing. I was surprised at the choice of husband, okay? But she's separated from him now, so that's... Oh. <laughs> oh, she's got beef with Missy Higgins. <laughs> no, I don't have beef. I was surprised she picked the librarian for her husband. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing. And so are you two, weren't you? Come on, please. No, like, <laughs> and nothing against librarians. No. There's the, there's the, there's the Curry Mail headline. Susie O'Neill hates Missy Higgins and librarians. <laughs> no, I don't. Overdue. <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Happy Monday after Magic Ground. Oh, great weather for it. Was it good? It was perfect. I didn't watch any of it. Okay. The, uh, yeah. the field held up well, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, credit to the grounds uh, staff at Suncorp because, I mean, I was expecting it to be a dust bowl by Sunday. I mean, Mitch, you had a better view than anyone. It looked still, good, though. Still look good. Yeah. Yeah. they got to turn it around. The Broncos are back there on Sunday. Mm. Are they? Yeah. Did, were, were they uh, painting the grass at all? I never saw that, but I know that they, they stayed late. They were mowing really late every night and they were back early every day and repainting the lines and things. And yeah. Really? Do they mow it? They mow it at night. Yeah, and it was still games. like it would have been a bit like because Friday up until like the start of the first game, it, it, it had been raining, so it would have been quite wet still and they had yeah the two mowers out there going, and but otherwise just sunshine all weekend and perfect, held up really well. They mow it to pick up all the bits of like grass that um, get kicked up off the turf. Oh, great idea. Cleans up the surface. Like it's a sweep, really. Yeah, essentially. But the, it was nuts how good it looked every morning. Yeah. Given what it looked like the night before. Yeah. Like, mm. it, me, like you were seeing me photos. I'm going. It looks like it's completely fresh. Yeah. yeah. Like the first game. Yeah. There was yeah. nine no. games played over four days. Yeah, it's they, incredible. They do it, um, and and <laughs> it's nine incredible. nine like big guys, big people. Like you see when they're getting tackled, there's bits of turf coming up. Yeah. Mm. God, that's incredible. a great weekend. That that is such a great innovation from. The NRL. Mm. It's four years old and it's not going anywhere. They've signed for another three. It's just, it's a party weekend. I think that's the biggest weekend I've ever seen in Brisbane. Really? And not just football, like everywhere. Yeah. Like every pub, every bar. I saw someone on Insta last night refer to it as schoolies for rugby league adults. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, look, I I saw it on the Gold Coast too. Like just uh, people who obviously were staying on the coast and taking the public transport up, you'd... You see them through surface. They've all got their jerseys on, mm. and you're just like, "God, this is, this is like, yeah. it's just a great innovation." Well, that's what the Olympics is going to be like, guys. But, but yeah. times, over sixteen but days, probably yeah. times ten. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it'll be like that. Yeah, but, yeah, it'll be unforgettable. Yep. Yes, Susan. Yes. Mm. Well, sticking to footy, we got a uh, state of origin announcement coming up at seven ten this morning. Bang! How you can win your way down to Sydney to see it live, game one. Oh, what about Munster? What happened to him? Is he out? Unconfirmed yet, but well, looks like it. 
Uh, Suze, it was like he was shot by a sniper in the stand. <laughs> in the penis. Yeah. <laughs> Did he pull a muscle? I, I don't know. I'd, it, it, he grabbed me. He's like, it was the weirdest injury I've ever seen. Yeah. It was a weird takedown. I don't, think it was, I don't think it was penile. I think it was groin, but, but it still, looked penile. It looked penile. It definitely did, David. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. ZJ Lazy Susan's debut performance, one this night week. only. Yeah, it's Thursday night at the Met. Oh, I'm excited. Like I'm every, good, excited. Uh, every good artist, so you're doing a bit of promo this morning, DJ Lazy Susan. Yeah. Little I, pop-up gig. I just found out I'm doing a pop-up gig. Yeah. Are we going to say where? Or is it a surprise? A surprise. In the city somewhere. There'll be a pop-up gig happening. Today. DJ Lazy Susan on the decks. Oh, With like tickets. That. This morning. Tickets will be there as well. Yep. So not only a chance to win them on the show, but if you uh, see DJ Lazy Susan at her gorilla gig. How good's that? Somewhere in the city this morning, you can win tickets that way. So w- when are you going out to do that? Uh, well, I'll do the f- I'll do Smarter Than Sue's at 8. And then probably pretty soon after that, I reckon. Hit the road. Hit the road. I'll be in the mall. The ball. You'll be somewhere in the city. Uh, are you coming back for nine o'clock, smarter than Sue? I don't know if I bother. I yeah, just, I'll just go do home. it from the road. Go yeah. home. Well, my car will be back here. All right, I'll okay. come back eventually. Some but antics. Yeah. <laughs> take, the, take the car with you. <laughs> I won't be able to get a park easily. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> I'll talk logistics off air. <laughs> logistics is an off air conversation. <laughs> I'll, I'll come back if I can. I'll come yeah. back here, but I don't think I'll get back in time. No. Because traffic will be bad, won't it? <laughs> it is. Come on, I'm meant to be cool. You are cool. I'm cool. You're Come very on. cool. Yeah. Ruben couldn't stop talking about you on Saturday night. Oh, the from DJ. Peking Duck. Yeah, the guy from Peking Duck. Yeah, the, the, yeah the you've big... got to give me some tips about what to do when you... I was watching him on your um, Instagram videos about what to do when he's up there. I'll tell I'm you what there. he's good at, knowing yeah. when to get on the mic. Yeah, and when not to. No, he crushed that. He was like, he'd get the crowd. He could sense, almost like when really? he could sense them just dropping off a little bit, like mm. bang, back on the mic. With what? His well, voice? Like, uh, Let's like, get ready to rig out of like all that sort of business. Does like, he bring you know, the music down when he goes on the mic or does the music stay up? No, I don't think the music changes. Okay, oh. just so you can I, don't go th- I don't think he brought it down. Okay, right. So if I'll everyone's looking him. a bit. S- I'll check with him because we're best buddies now, but I'll just uh, check with him. Flattish, just pump him up. Yeah. Give us an example of what you might do. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was it. No, 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 no do it again. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Come on, guys! It's TJ Lazy Susan here. <laughs> why are you doing the accent? <laughs> why, why are you Canadian? <laughs> TJ Lazy Susan. Why she? Did she go to school with Drake? <laughs> <laughs> All right. To, you want to grassy high? <laughs> Montreal. The Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. The Mesh, Brisbane's biggest and best nightclub in the heart of Fortitude Valley. DJ Lazy Susan in the Butterfly and Bangers World Tour. Come Monday, come, come Monday, you're my butterfly. Sugar, sugar. An exclusive gorilla gig happening in the city this morning around 8.40. So if you're uh, commuting into work, keep an eye out for DJ Lazy Susan. will be hitting the decks in the middle of the city. Is she like mobile? Like, are you walking? I'll be walking with a, with a mobile DJ deck. That's awesome. Mm. Yeah, you know, like marching bands from the 80, yeah. 1988 Expo? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before my time. But yeah. like, like, a, like a drum kit. Like, like a yeah. drum kit, but yeah. it'll be going. I'll no. be going. Like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> yes, exactly like the Energizer Bunny from Go the on. ad. Do it again. What will you be doing? I'll be doing this. <laughs> that's, that's gonna go viral when Nick posts it. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, funny. It's gonna be good fun. It'll be good to have a bit of a warm-up. I'm getting excited. I'm yeah. actually getting really excited. Well, well, one, two, three sleeps. Three sleeps to go. Yeah, so uh what well, six to nine. It's a pretty good time. Everyone will be in bed, you know. Uh, if you're a, a DJ, you'll be like two sleeps away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you're a Just, rager. Oh, right. oh, okay. Yeah, one, but, yeah, there's a fair chance one of those nights you're just going to kick through. Oh, okay, go straight through. Yeah, because you're crazy. And yeah, crazy, crazy. 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 <laughs> I might even do that yeah. Thursday. Come straight to work the But you're also come in hot. Come in hot on Friday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah. come in. Too come lazy in. to sleep. Yeah. More like it. Yeah, too, yeah. Yeah. too lazy. Uh, Tammy. Oh. Yes? You're coming along. <laughs> When's the last time you went out, Tammy? Oh, a long time ago. A long time ago. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome. I've been saying to my husband for days, I'm going to win these tickets. I'm going to win these tickets. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, guess what? I just won the tickets. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> Showed him. Are you going to take him along? Are you going to take your husband? Yes. 
Yes, I am. I am going to take my husband and I'll see whether my eldest son and his um, lazy lady friend, lady his friend. His lazy like friend. Lady friend. She's so oh, lazy, though. His lazy lady. Yeah. I think it is going to be cross-generational, this, this I hope gig. so. I hope so. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I just said I listen to you guys all the time and, yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked. I can't believe it. <laughs> what are you going to wear? I've been working. Like, are you going to wear sand oh. shoes or are you going to wear... Heels. Yeah, I'll probably wear, um, if I get the tick of approval, I've got um, probably some white sneakers, some comfy jeans, and yep. yeah, I might splurge on a new top if I, if I find the time. What do you mean if you get the tick of approval? Have you got to run uh, well, no, uh, no, we'll see, you know, when you have a 25-year-old son, you know, you can't be wearing things that aren't right, fashionable. Right, so, right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> I tell you what, mu- musically, that, that's a challenge for you because it is cross-generational. Mm. You've got 25-year-olds. Yeah. I mean, Tammy sounds like she's in her late 30s. Oh, geez, you're kind, uh, oh, mid 40s, but you know, good. we'll run with that. <laughs> Can I just say, there was no end to that sentence. I just can't just say that. Yeah, I know, it is going to be cross But that, that's, that's tough, right? I've got a set list. Like, I, I haven't. Don't know the audio yet, but I've got a, a lot of songs to choose from. I'm going. I got 80 songs. I got 90 songs. I got current songs. You feel it out. I'm just gonna feel it and see Perfect. what's happening. You know, on oh, the I night. I can't yeah. wait. Like honestly, as I said, I can't wait. The last boiler room set I went to was when Big Day Out put on. So that was a long time ago. Ooh, Sweet. Well, it's it's gonna be to bigger go. than that. OG. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you there, Tammy. Thursday night <laughs> awesome. at the Met. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. You Brisbane's too. biggest and best nightclub. It is in the heart of Fortitude okay. Valley. The Butterfly and Bangers World Tour, supported by Jolly on Petch as well. Oh, that's right. Dream. Yep. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm smarter than... I'm smarter than Suze. Bright and Homes includes aircon, flooring, steel frames and solar as standard. You don't need to be smarter than Suze to discover why it's better with Brighton. You are fabulous. What's so, that, El? Excuse me? What were you, oh. who, who are you talking to, who my friend? You to? You're live oh, on I'm air. Talking, oh, g'day, boys. How you doing? I'm talking to my daughter. She's uh, It's her birthday today. She just turned five. Is that, She's very excited. Is that Sylvia? Oh, God, you know you're listening. That's Sylvia, yeah. 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 Now, if I know Sylvia, she probably isn't up for a gimp, which is fair enough. Nah, nah. She's a bit shy. But if she's um, turning five... Is she prep now? Yeah. Prep, Sorry, what? Prep or grade one? Prep. Uh, she's still in daycare. Yeah, Don't still in daycare. We kept her back for that a little bit extra time. Fair I f- enough. I feel like they're getting another year out of the kids these days with education. They're getting another year out of the money, I'll tell you that. Damn straight they are. That's the point. <laughs> tell you what. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, and I'll, I'll have something to say about that after 8.30 this morning. <laughs> but for now, let's have some fun. Uh, but somewhere along the way, they... they they did, Lutzi. Like, so they, they like legit, at 18 like, now. Yeah. 17. So they, yeah, they're actually squeezing another year. Yeah. It's money for the you, parents. You go up to the high school now and you see kids, they, they, they're yeah, driving they're, cars to school. And they're no smarter. <laughs> no. Like, I've met your kids. No, they're just... Like, Levi in particular. Yeah. yeah. He's, got, he's got nothing going on. And, he's, and he drives a car now. He drives a car. You know, it's crazy. It should be illegal. Yeah. Morning, Levi, if you're listening. He's not listening. Yeah. Uh, L. <laughs> Yeah, fifteen hundred bucks Alan, we're playing Alan, for. Oh, here Alan, we go. Alan, Alan, Al, Alan. Now, this is the second time I played as well, so I want me a second bump sticker. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, do yeah, we get a second got, bump sticker? Still got mate? The bump stickers. We don't do that anymore. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, oh, I've got the first one framed. We might be able to. We, we'll, let's. We'll, we'll, yeah, tr- we'll try and sort you out. Yeah. You've got the first one framed. Around. Did you win or lose? Yeah, it? I won. What, which 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 um room? Which room is it in? Framed. Uh, it's, it's in my office. Wow, that's pretty okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, it's it's good radio anyway. If you're making it up, but <laughs> I just sense something in your voice at the end there that you were taking. The, oh, yeah. Um, taking the was it eight hundred bucks? About well, this time last year. Oh, wow. I beat Sue because she'd gone to the loo and hadn't washed her hands, which was a bit oh, rattled. Oh, yeah. She yeah, that's, that she's a bandit for that. That's, yeah. that's very much her, yeah. She might be rattled this time around because she listened to that Billie Eilish song, Lunch, and oh, yeah, walked out of here with a bit of... <laughs> yeah, she's it licking do, it fingers, does make yes. her hungry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, listen, you're playing for a place on the Noble Dow Cup, which is for oh, two, two wins go. against Sue. There's 13 members so far, so you'd be lucky number 14. Let's be 14. Okay. Let's go. Uh, $1,500. You're playing for Al. Ooh, here we go. And by the way, Lockie said he's found a bumper sticker yeah, for you. One. So win or lose, oh, mate, if you've got another bumper man, sticker man. coming your way. Here we go, mate. Enough dribbling. 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs> and your time starts now. What body part do you traditionally cross for good luck? Fingers. Who has played the most games for the Brisbane Broncos? 
Oh, um, Darren Lockyer. Daryl Dixon is a character from what TV Walking show? Dead. Austin is the capital of which US state? Texas. How many sides does a dodecadon have? Um, 12. Stop the clock. I'm on that dodecagon. What was his answer for question three? I didn't hear it properly. For question three, uh, yeah. Walking Dead. Oh, Walking Dead. Walking yeah. Dead. Um, Al, you, yep. you're going to be hard to beat, my friend. Oh, you've laid no, it, you've laid down the challenge. challenge. You're halfway she's there, brother. The, the, uh, Broncos is always tough, though. You've laid down the challenge. Let's bring in the gimp. All right. I don't know who that was. No, it's one of Gary's mates. Susie O'Neill! Hold the phone, Freddy! First time I've ever seen you use a toothpick. When? No, you just... Just then? Yeah. I always use toothpicks. What? What are you whispering to her? I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> no, we're just saying... Out, I'm playing along. you said you were hungry. Oh. <laughs> I'm playing along with you. I didn't use a toothpick. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Is it to do with the last song? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. See, what? she is flustered. What? <laughs> no, I've just been listening, trying to find remixes of um, Lunch, Billy yeah. Eilish, to see if uh, I can maybe yeah. put that song in the set list. You were right. In the yeah. set list. <laughs> I just, I just, we'll see. <laughs> I knew, what do you mean? <laughs> I knew she was in there and it was Billy Eilish for like. <laughs> did you? I, did, I just knew. I just knew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just ruffles your feathers, doesn't it? That yeah. song. I like that song. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple of good remixes, though. I'm it's just, good. Is there? Yeah, yeah. Or do you think it could make a, an appearance? I, want, I really want it to make an appearance. Yeah. I wonder mm. what the film clip's like. Mm. Yeah. I'm surprised you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> anyway, let, let's, okay, let's take care on. of business. Here we go. $1,500, you put me off. 30 Lutzy? seconds. Yeah, why no. did you do that for, Lutzy? <laughs> did uh, Well, you got her talking about Billie Eilish right before she's <laughs> sitting the biggest, smarter than Susan right, of go, the let's year. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, okay. she's dribbling on. Uh, oh, thir- 30 seconds on the clock. Hang on, wait, wait. <laughs> Hang on, what? <laughs> Could he derail you any more, Susan? Apparently, I've something in the teeth. I had breakfast before. I do have something in my teeth. All right. Shh. Hang on a second. <laughs> Turn away, please, Lutz. Yeah, uh, he's making me feel funny today. He's giving me the tingles. Uh, that's the Billy Eilish song. <laughs> You're Billy. Um, you. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. What body part do you traditionally cross for good luck? Your fingers. Who has played the most games for the Brisbane Broncos? Oh, Darren Lockyer. Daryl Dixon is a character in what TV show? I don't know. Austin is the capital of which US state? Um... Arizona. How many Texas, Texas, Texas. Oh, don't worry. How many sides does a dodecadon have? Ten. Stop the clock. Oh. I thought you were going to give me a multiple choice for the Broncos one. I was waiting for the two people. I think we're going to have to go upstairs for that uh, Texas one. Well. Oh, God. No, he's started. I think he'd re- he started. I think he had he started. started. I think he started. Oh, as well. I, I, I thought that. Okay, I was. You started your question. So we can't accept it. I well, that's be. the rule. Yeah, rules are rules. Listen, I can't make the rule. There's too, that's why they have video referee for the rugby league. There's too much for me to understand. Mm. I can't be brilliantly reading these questions <laughs> and analysing whether they're right or wrong mm. and, yeah. and, you know, Even. determining all of that. <laughs> okay, um, $1,500. Here we go. What body part do you traditionally cross for good luck? You both said fingers. That's correct. Ding. Who has played the most Ooh. games for the Brisbane Broncos? You both said Darren Lockyer. That's correct. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 355 yeah. games for Jeez. the great man. Oh, yeah. Daryl Dixon oh. is a character in what TV show? Sue's just said, I don't know. Al said, The Walking Dead. And that's correct. <gasps> Daryl Duncan? Daryl Dixon. Daryl Dixon. Daryl, Daryl, not Daryl Duncan. So three, no. two, is it? What's the score? It's 3 2 to <gasps> Al. With two, Ooh, two to play. Close. <laughs> Austin is the capital of which US state? Now, Sue said Arizona and then went went to change it to Texas, 
But I, you'd already started. I'd already started asking the next yeah. question. Al said Texas. And Texas is correct. So Al hits the front 4-2. You oh, can't, can't be beaten, be beaten, mate. But how many sides does a Dodecadon have? Mm. Sue said it has 10. Al said it has 12. I don't know how the hell you know this, Al, but that is correct too. It's a perfect yeah. score. Five to two over Sue's. Beat her on time as well. He beat her on time as well. on time. That is somewhere. Oh, you're somewhere. smarter than Sue's. You're into the Noble Dow Cup as the 14th member, and you've just won $1,500. Yeah. and Susie O'Neill podcast. Visit theladyshake.com.au and use code RADIO to get $20 off. Terms and conditions apply. Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill's Lose Your Way to Game 1. Yeah, thanks to the Man Shake and the Lady Shake, we have got the ultimate trip down to Sydney for Game 1, State of Origin. Uh, you just need to tell us on the Nova player what you'd be willing to lose yep. to win your way down there. Now, what do you mean by this? So basically, okay. so let's say you have a this, and um, let's go through the price quickly before we say what, what what you need to lose because we've got flights down to Sydney, accommodation, not only tickets to the game but the best seats in the stadium that you can physically buy. Really? Yeah, you, yep. Like buzz, diamond buzz. or something? Or, you know, like fancy word they have. It's called the um, it's called the VIP experience. It's actually like above diamond. That's above diamond. Yeah, it is. It's, it's it's on the fifty meter uh, line, oh, halfway. You get a private bar. Oh you know, I think you get a merch pack. Do you know what, Buzz? Um, because we've been to an Origin game, a uh, couple at that stadium, mm-hmm. and if you don't have the great seats, yep. it, you can get a bit lost there. Yep. It's not like Suncorp Stadium. So to have those seats that are on the halfway line, that's like. That's next level stuff, my friend. If you go to Ticket Tech and you go to buy tickets at a core stadium for game one and you go best available at any price, these are the tickets that come up. I tell you what else is cool, Susan, and we did mm-hmm. this last year when yes. we went down I know to what you're say. the captain's run. Yes, I loved that. Like you, Literally, you're sitting on the sideline having a beverage, mm-hmm. watching the Mighty Maroons last Training yeah, session. yeah. Well, I mean, last year on the field, like, that's like, like yeah. on the actual field, fine tuning their, their last sort of level. game plan, and that's a money can't buy experience. And like, no, you, you can't if you're listening that's right now. Sanctum. You, you can't buy tickets to this. No, mm. that's so good. So, this is Origin a- One is two weeks Wednesday. Yeah, mm. first week of June. Yeah, first yeah. week June June five, it must be. Yeah. yeah. Um, I get how, what, how do you register? I get what they've done here with the competition. Yeah, I'm going to try and explain it in my words. Go on. Okay, so with the man shake and the lady shake, you you lose weight. Yeah. We can lose weight if that's what you're aiming to do when you take it. Mm-hmm. So the competition is what we what are you willing to lose? There's this lose lose to go to the state of origin. Like, I mean that's great integration for the man shake, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's a good comp. Um, so basically, head of the Nova player, you might have a signed jersey or something to that effect. You might go, you know what? These uh, this origin experience is worth more to me than that signed jersey. So I'm willing to lose that jersey. To win my way down to origin. Maybe you've got a beard and you're going to shave it. You might oh, have yeah. long hair that you've been growing for ages. Ash lost his virginity to state of origin. Yeah. It was worth it too. No, yeah. it was before Three that. years yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, regret for a second. It was a hell of a game. So, and we'll, so what we'll do we'll is bounce back. We'll, uh, we'll we'll go through these entries and we'll find the best thing that people are willing to lose, and then we'll send you down there. I'm trying to think what I'd lose. Uh, are we well, go- are we're we going, going to, down. Uh, but are we going to take whatever the item is? Oh, like, absolutely. And what do we do with it? Well, I don't know. What it doesn't we matter. Want? We might have it in the studio here. We might just burn it. Uh, yeah. It might be so precious to them that we'll say we're going to we're going to burn it. All right. So you got to be prepared. You, we, we, we will take it. Oh yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, you think about the sacrifices that the Maroons players do. Exactly. This is small in comparison. This they is put, they the, put their bodies on the line. Mm. Mm. 
This is exciting though. We're going to head down there, so you can be coming along with us. That's awesome. It's going to be. The, it's going to be some trip. Uh, if you want to get involved, the Nova Play app or online at Nova FM, and let us know. Friday, our first person will be calling back to let them know that they've won. And this uh, this trip will be worth a pretty penny. Oh yeah. Like so, put some thought into it. And this is game one. This is like, you know, that's critical in Sydney. Oh, it's, it's a really good enemy experience. territory. Yeah, it's a real experience to go down there and just be surrounded by so many New South Welshmen. You just can't believe yeah. that so many people you, you are going be, for the wrong team. You want to be winning, yeah. leaving, leaving that stadium, don't you? It's yeah. not on this uh, on this sheet of paper, but I know that they've organised a. Thank um, <laughs> you, pardon. Thank you, pardon. I know that they organised a uh, stretch limo as well to get to and from the game. But do we get to do that as well? Yeah, the... we'll be going. Yeah, so you don't have to. Worry about because getting home from Homebush sucks. Oh, yeah. Usually, right? The train station, a nightmare. Can I say, like, you are being excellent middle management right now. That's mm. what I do. I, I feel this is your project. Well, that's why and it's... You've, and you've crushed it. Buzz hand selected the tickets. I yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know that for a fact. I had to fight Samara to get the good ones. Oh, Samara. Yeah. And that's why it's also win your way down there with us. That's so Samara. That's so it? Samara. So yeah. Samara. All right, Friday, our first... Uh, Tickets to give away. We've got two of these experiences to do. So make sure you head to the Nova Player. What would you be willing to lose? Is all thanks to the Man Shake and Lady Shake as well. Uh, up next, 15 seconds of fame. Let's do it. 13, 24, hey, 10. That was just a quick one. Uh, George has just hit me up. George. Uh, Ezra. Gorgeous George. Um, and he just says, mate, driving to school this morning, my son just said he'd give up his sister to go to the Orange. His sister. Well, we, we don't want her. We're not going to. We don't want to take people. Is that gorgeous, George? Yeah, when, Other human uh, beings, do mm-hmm. we? We don't want to take. Hey, human George, beings. raises no. with the Nova player, mate. Hey, that's the only entry so far. Yeah. <laughs> Standing out. I'd rather not get into human trafficking. Yeah. <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. The Prince is on. Hey, you'll get better, buddy. Yeah, it's actually good. <laughs> oh, that I thought it was actually good. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that was on point. I was death riding you. I thought you were going to do badly. I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> Did she, you? I delivered. She, she literally said to me, this ain't going to be pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I nailed it. I nailed it. You did well under pressure. The predictor. Yeah. Mitchell. Mackers. Hello, guys. Mackers. How you doing? I am indeed Milton Mackers down here where all the uh, where all the action was over the last couple of days, uh, right next to Suncorp Stadium. Another beautiful day out here. I mean, Magic Round just could have it just could have kept on going. Really, yeah. uh, we're fantastic last couple of days. But I know that uh, from work with the NRL crew, who congratulations to them putting on a uh, a great show. Not only the three day Magic Round, but of course the other uh, four days, including the women's set of our Thursday night. They actually had their own um, little coffee set up inside the tunnel, like the actual like the car where they drive underneath through the uh, thoroughfare underneath the stadium. So much so that they need coffee. And we figured, well, we had 150,000 people come through these grounds just over those three days alone, 25,000 on Thursday night. We had a, a tens of thousands down at the Gabba. I didn't see the, the final uh, the amount going through on Saturday night for the Lions. But it's been a big weekend of footy, and we figured that maybe there's a couple of sore heads heading to yeah. work today. And we just maybe sort you out with a coffee just to get you started. And then who better than our mates at Macca's right next door to beautiful Suncorp Stadium. So uh, come on down and we can sort you out. Nice work. I don't think... You think of those numbers you just mentioned, though. Like, I can't remember a bigger weekend in Brisbane. Like, I, it's like that's 100,000. Like, you didn't even mention, like, the Doom and 10,000 was on. So yes. Like, I went to the races, and there was twenty five. There was 20,000 people there. It was the biggest races crowd I've seen in recent history. The same wow. day as the Lions and the Broncos played. And all well, the, the all the, yeah, 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 pubs and clubs packed out as well all day because of obviously Magic Round. I know they, they shut down Caxton Street uh, over the weekend and just tens of thousands of people hanging around there, even if uh, you couldn't get in because the games were sold out. Just enough to, uh, to get down and, and get in amongst the vibe of the place, guys. So uh, there was just a, a lot going. A great weekend in Brisbane. And thank God that weather cleared up. Obviously, a little bit of rain there on Friday, but uh, perfect weather and it yeah. continues to show it off today. So it just shows how good this city can be, putting on so much stuff over a couple of days and uh, a little bit of, a little bit of practice as we've been talking about as we look towards something else big coming up in a few years but yeah if you've if you've experienced yes. over the last couple and uh i know that they were opening up a lot of the uh, the pubs and whatnot mid-morning and uh and then pushed on through three days of footy especially uh, that's who i want to talk to i want to see if you're a little bit dusty especially so if you're nearby milton mac has come on through and we'll uh, we'll sort you out with coffees nice that was, that was the uh, mac is that uh, allegedly post malone had dinner at before he did his concert that's really right, yeah yeah yeah, he did. I Remember he was that? There, yeah. Was that Macca's gig? Yeah. <laughs> some food. Free gig. Yeah. Got some nuggets. <laughs> I 
Got the Happy Meal special, maybe, for old post. <laughs> Get on you, Mitch. All right, hey guys, come and see me. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Just strut like nobody's watching. Get what you want, when you want it at snaffle.com.au. The home of bite-sized payments. Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill's secret strut sound. Yeah, this is $1,000 cash every day we have up for grabs. If uh, it doesn't go off right now, it'll jackpot. We'll have two grand tomorrow. All right, Joel out of Slacks Creek. Uh... He's doing some contamination control. Does that mean? This morning, yeah, what, are you, what are you contaminating, Joel? What are you controlling? How's it going? Um, currently, we're just actually going to an emergency service. So we do all sorts of different buildings. And usually, I'll just go in there and give it more of an in-depth clean, like the wires, the cords, the power modules, things like that. I feel like, oh, that sounds in serious. my mind, you look like a Ghostbuster. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much a Ghostbuster. I've got a big vacuum in my back. You can just say it. Cool like that. Do oh, you, you play that song? Do you play like... Who are you going to call? Who are you going to call? Got it. Do you go to Sinister sinister Scenes? What? Crime Scenes? Crime Scenes. Oh, I see, yeah. Do you, Joel? Or is it... No, no. Oh. Right. See, I was saying something different. Yeah, no, I was dancing with you on that for a second. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. It's like fun ghostbusters. Fun work. ghostbusters. Yeah. It's, a, it's a fun ghostbusters. Fun ghostbusters. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's something strange. And your chords have gone bad. <laughs> 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 oh, that Joel, like Ghostbusters. Joel. Hey, you got a thousand bucks you can win here, mate. Uh, yep. Lutzi's been out and about over the weekend. Yes, I and, have. And uh, we've got a recording, a little snippet. This was pretty early in the weekend, this one. Yeah. Okay. All right, pretty early, all right. Of, of David out and about. Now, if you can tell us what the secret sound is, thanks to Snaffle, you pick up a thousand bucks. I'll give it a good crack. Okay, let's uh, have here's, a listen. Here's the, here's the, here's the sound. <laughs> yeah, so it's, a, it's an outdoory sort of. That was me cracking a can. It's outdoory. It's a. How early? Are we talking like breakfast, breakfast time? No, no, no. It was like a uh, late lunch on a Friday. So it wasn't breakfast. Friday, but it was, yeah, um, it was near a, like, it's, I will say it was, it's near a creek. Okay. Near a creek. Mm. The early My morning. guess was going to be the Claxton, so. No, so it's near a creek, and it was around breakfast time. Um. I mean, I can't do it anymore, please. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, no clue. Um, just near just a creek. Think. Breakfast, breakfast yeah. Creek Hotel. Are you going to oh, lock what? that in? Are you, are you locking that in? <laughs> I'll lock it in, I'll lock it in. <laughs> you went from no idea to very specifically the Breakfast Creek Hotel in <laughs> 2.4 milliseconds. Where were you, Lutzi? Bur- little, little birdie in my ear. <laughs> Who? His girlfriend. Oh, she there. You correct. Break your creek. Correct. Woo! <laughs> Thousand bucks. Thousand dollars. Thousand Holy dollars. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks, Birdie. Let's go. How'd you Thank get it, you. Joel? Tell, talk us through. Uh, my brother was the last second guest in my ear, and I thought I would brother. just shoot my shot and give it a go. Your brother was going, it's a brick and quick hotel. He's spoon feeding it to you. We well, got $1,000 thanks to Snapple. We strut like nobody's watching. Get what you want when you want it at snaffle.com today. You're the home of bite-sized payments. Is your brother there, Joel, like next to you? Yes, he is. Chuck yep. him on air, and we'll give him an entry to $1,000 cash. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Hello. There we go. Hello. So Hello. easy it is. <laughs> what well on, fellas? Well, all we needed was that, that creek hint. Yeah, I pretty much just said it backwards, <laughs> and you just turned it around. It won't be this easy tomorrow. Let's no. make it a bit tougher than that. Yeah. You're going to earn your $1,000. <laughs> Legend, thank you. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Check out my, my Saturday was literally wake up. I wake up at like 11 p.m. because I went to the Broncos, obviously. So big night. Mm-hmm. 11 a.m. 11 a.m., sorry. Yeah, 11 a.m. Mm. Um... I thought, okay, I'll just relax for a bit. I'm like, no. Let's at go. home? Did you wake up Someone at home? Someone said, let's go to the track. So I was like, let's go to the track. Doom and 10,000 day pack. Doom and was outstanding. It was such a beautiful day. The boys from 4X were there. We had a few beers. And then I thought, got to go. Got to get to Arnie Marge's 90th birthday at Kedron. Boom. In a taxi. Out to my, grand- my auntie Marge's 90th birthday. Wow. And she did the best. She mentioned everyone at the party in a speech, except me, <laughs> and then she, <laughs> I think she did some comedy, like she, and then someone's like, oh, you forgot the nephews. But is this for real? For real. Yeah. And, she, and then she goes, I just want to th- um, thank Brad for coming early. My brother, who'd already left 
So she actually went out of her way to mention everyone and my brother and didn't mention me. Have, so I was the laughing stock of my 90-year-old auntie's speech. Was she doing it deliberately? I you think come, she did, did it deliberately. Did you come in hot to Auntie Marge's yeah, 90th? I'd been, you yes, came in hot. I came in hot at the races, yeah. then into the 90th. And so speeches, got to go, football's on, out to Suncorp Stadium. The plan was to do Suncorp into the Lions. Never got to the Lions. But then I was like, because then I'm getting calls from Ruben from Peking Duck saying, where you at? To the regatta, they had this massive country festival. He does he does the after show uh, DJ gig. Got drunk er with him upstairs in a green room. What? So you did partied on to Brooklyn Standard. Apparently Buzz was there. Never mm-hmm. even saw him. Was there till close. Did you see him there? Lots. Uh, no. Buzz. We were both. At I Brooklyn think you Standard. go into different spaces than I do. I'm just well, with the Brooklyn common man. Standard's only pretty small. I know. But I didn't run into you. And then I don't even know what time I finished up. So on Saturday. You would have had a big night Friday night. What time did you get to bed on Friday night? Like close. Like four Three, four o'clock? Yeah. Sleep till 11. Yeah. Doom by 10,000. Yeah. Marge's... Coming in hot, Arnie Marge's, Arnie Marge's 90th. 90th. She ignores you. You're the only nephew you ignore. Straight yeah. from that to the footy. Two games of rugby league, I thought. Straight from that to the regatta. Yeah, regatta. Loose, like with, up on stage with a cowboy, pink cowboy hat on. With Ruben. With Ruben, who went, killed it. And then, it. And then from that... With Ruben to Brooklyn Standard, end up back in um, Ruben's hotel room in the city. Wow. Um, what'd you do yesterday? A bit. Oh. Buzz. Buzz. Interesting. <laughs> how does he do it? Don't know. How, uh, how I does genuinely he do it? have no idea how you do it. I did a bit. That's ticker, mate. <laughs> He's got heart. He's got heart. The Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. The Mesh, Brisbane's biggest and best nightclub in the heart of Fortitude Valley. DJ Lazy Susan in the Butterfly and Bangers World Tour. Come Monday day, come, come Monday day, you're my butterfly, sugar, sugar. Yeah, look, I hope you're a good musician. Uh, you need to be out and about doing promo if you want people to come to your gig, and that's exactly <laughs> what DJ Lazy Susan is doing this morning. That. A Ooh. pop-up gorilla gig in the city. Old school too. Mm-hmm. Like dead set out the front of Hungry Jack's in the mall. And you've got like a stable table, like strapped with the decks, like mobile decks. Is that what it is? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty much a mobile DJ, so I've got it here right at my, uh, I suppose, crotch level, you'd say. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I'm ready to go. I've got the speakers ready. It's all turned on. I've got my decks. I've chosen my songs. I'm going to start it whenever you would like. <laughs> well, I'm going to kill the music here so we can uh, hear what's going on at the mall you there. Ready? Whenever you're ready. Well, yeah, walk down the mall. Okay, ready? Go yeah. start it. Go. Go. Can a bit louder? Yep. There she goes, DJ Lazy Susan in the city. She's got the moves down, Pat. Well, she's mixing. The best speaks, but. <laughs> 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 Walk someone. They're running away from us, Lutzi. They're running away. Find someone. <laughs> You're out the front of Boost now. Where's your Come on, let's go. Oscar Wiley, there's Jimmy's on the left. She's running. Oh, what's up, Lutzi? Oh, shit. Games. Oh, here we go. He's coming. Coming some distance. Are we dancing cool. with you? Woo! Thank you. Oh, she's got someone dancing with us. Nice. Nice. <laughs> she's explaining to people who she is. Lee Dipwine does the same thing. Canada, Canada, hey! Canada, hey! Canada, hey! Is he saying I'm getting down? Yeah. <laughs> what that man saying? Well, she's drumming up noise, Buzz. She's making this. That's song. it. Yeah, get getting word out there. Just getting into it. She said so you got halfway down the mall. See if you can get the guy from the Salvation Army to help you out there. There he is. Shake the bucket, shake the bucket. Oh, shaking his money back. I think he thought Mitch was trying to steal the bucket off him. <laughs> Just a little taste of what you're going to get with DJ Lazy Susan on Thursday night. I like that energy. Like, she's really embracing it, isn't she, Susan? Yeah, she's only... I'm going to have to work on transition, though, yeah, by Thursday, I think. That's okay. The playlist is good. Yeah.
And she is running along on a mobile on yeah. decks. Like it's not easy. She came to a square now. Jeez, she's come for some miles. She's going up in City Hall. Shrimp dogs over there, so I did. Travelling in a fright. If you see DJ Lazy Susan in the city, you're driving past, give her a honk. She's on Adelaide Street now, crossing over King George Square. Go and give her a big hug if you see her. She loves that. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> Alright, minute left. Let's go bring it home strong. No, she's dropped the mic. Oh, dear. <laughs> This is like probably what are you a, doing, Sue? So you're dropping all your gear. Yeah. You're spilling your marbles. This is also an insight into the kind of uh, soul <laughs> playlist she's going to be yeah. sort of aiming hey. towards Not a butterfly. Thursday night. Hey, Not a butterfly. Everyone's running, running, running away from roll. me. <laughs> Hang on, I'm a bit puffed. Okay, I might nice have slightly weaved my pants. But apart from that, it's good. <laughs> all right, we'll do those pelvic wow. floor exercises, Sue, and get fit because you've got 30 minutes of this on Thursday. <laughs> Oh my god, this is tiring. We'll just wear that old nappy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll leave you guys in the city. Uh, make sure you give away lots of invites yeah. to DJ Lazy Susan, to the people that are walking past. And catch your breath, Suze, because 132410 right now, take on Susan smarter than Susan X. Take us to the break, Susie. Nice. You come from the land down under. Is it over yet? Yep. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm smarter than... I'm smarter than Suze. All right, well, DJ Lazy Susan just hit the streets of Brisbane City uh, doing a gorilla gig, a pop-up gig. You'll be able to see that on our socials real soon, Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill. But she is doing um, her Smarter Than Suze this morning at 9am one remotely. Yeah, she's, uh, we've locked her in the toilets at Hungry Jack's. Uh, that, that will be the soundproof booth for Suze this morning as we take Smarter Than Suze to the road. Uh, John out of Logan. You're only playing for 100 bucks, mate. Suze just had a loss. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not much I can do about that. That's all right. There's plenty of stuff in the cave, mate. Some uh, great Broncos tickets, actually. I've seen there various other things. The Met, of course. Your Broncos Suits. fan, John? I am indeed, yes. Perfect. Okay. All right, mate. Well, let's get into it. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. What video game company produces the Switch console? A Nintendo. In which sport is the Vince Lombardi trophy contested? Golf. Chris Hemsworth's latest movie, Furiosa, is part of which film franchise? Don't know. What is the chemical symbol for gold? Don't know. What is 386 minus 35? Boom. Oh, missed it. Okay, you used up all of your time yep. there. <laughs> yeah, you went the distance. You weren't playing for time. Time. Alone, alone. You know, it, it doesn't even matter when we're playing for 100 bucks, John. Sometimes it's better to lose because mm. the kickback cave... Yeah, you end up got, with more prizes. Actually, yeah, actually, more prizes. He's going to be way better if yeah. he does lose. It's way more than hundred dollars worth of value. Yeah, Tenerife well. Festival tickets. Oh. And I think you're a fair chance of losing, John. Let's wow. bring in the gift. Wow. G I M P, bring in that gift. G I M P, bring in that gift. I'm going to shout it all night. Bring in that gift. I'm going to shout it every day. Before we get to Sue's, uh, don't forget to send your gimps in. Let's get some uh, fresh gimps. Dill will put the bells and whistles on them. Please. But you can send them in um, to our Facebook or Instagram in message format, uh, either in MP3 or video. So get your gimps in. We'll play them on the show. Give you a shout-out. All right. Suze, have we got can you Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I can, can you, hear you. Can I you hear me? I just put my... Um, yeah, I can hear you. I just put my whopper down. The toilets are actually pretty clean. I was <laughs> impressed. Oh, good. Do you have your pick... Do you keep your pickles on your whopper, Suze? It's not a euphemism. Pickles... It's a genuine uh, question. No. 
I don't like pickles. No, that's what I'm saying. So you do you you peel them off? Do you pick them off? Or do you leave them on? I pick them off. Okay. Oh, is that a metaphor for something? No. (laughs) (laughs) Well, they can be, I guess. Um, (laughs) Is it to do with the toothpick question before? No? No, no, we've moved on from that. Have you? (laughs) No. <laughs> go to the it podcast if you <laughs> want some sort of background information yeah. on that. All right, let's go, Suze. So Rebuild let's Willie, go. Come on. Uh, $100, let's go. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. What video game company produces the Switch console? Nintendo. In which sport is the Vince Lombardi trophy contested? Uh, golf. Chris Hemsworth's latest movie, Furiosa, is part of which film franchise? Mad Max. What is the chemical symbol for gold? AG. What is 386 minus 35? Uh, 351. Stop the clock. Well, certainly the fact that she's remote has not hindered, yes. hindered her, <laughs> her performance. <laughs> Some say it would even help. Yeah, or maybe it loosens you up a bit. Yeah. Uh, let's get into it. What video game co- company produces the Switch console? You both said Nintendo. That's correct, the Mundo. Boom. And it's one all. No nudie run for John. No. <laughs> saved you that, John. Uh, what sports is the Vince Lombardi trophy contested? Interesting, this one. You both said golf. But that is wrong. Yeah, NFL. Uh, it's NFL, yeah. Gridiron, American football. He was like a like the original super coach, Vince Lombardi. It's one all. Chris Hemsworth's latest mu- movie, Furiosa, is part of which film franchise? Sue's got it right, Mad Max. Boom. Hits the front, 2-1. The chemical symbol for gold, John said, I don't know. Sue's had a crack at it, A-G, but that's wrong. I think that's silver, isn't it? It's A-U. A-G. A-U. You should think like Australian gold, Australian gold, A-U. Yeah, but then then you think it was A-G. Australian gold. That's a good point. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that that would be a a better way to do it. Uh, anyway, it's 2-1 to Susan. The final question, 386 minus 35. John, you didn't get enough time to work this out, mate. I can hear your brain ticking away there. but the, brain fart. Yeah, the, the clock beat you to it. Uh, Suze said 351. That's correct. 3-1 victory, Suze. Woo-hoo! Into the cave, Lutzi. Yeah. Uh, well, you said you're a Broncos fan, John, so I'm going to give you a uh, double par- a family far- a pass, in fact, to the, uh, the Broncos via the Titans. Suncorp Stadium, that's uh, this Sunday, the 26th of May. You want to get, snap up those tickets. There's going to be a big crowd on Massive. Sunday for the, uh, the 4X Derby, they call that one. Yep. And also, I'm going to give you a double pass to the Tenerife Festival. This is massive this year, John. It's uh, the 8th of June, so it's still about three weeks away. Tickets are on sale now at TenerifeFestival.org. This year, you've got the Cat Empire, Thunder Mendels, Josh Pike, and also Bluey for the kids, which is fantastic. They reckon it's going to be the biggest Tenerife Festival in history. Get your tickets right now, TenerifeFestival.org. But you've got a double pass. Cool bananas. Cool bananas, indeed. There we go. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.